So I have looked forward to this day all winter. It is the first nice day out here that I'm able to come out here and paint on the driveway. Uh, if you've been following my channel for a while now, you know that last summer I did a lot of painting with my sprayer. And of course I need nice weather to do that. I will also use a brush and roller. It totally can be done, but I prefer the sprayer since it is a lot uh, faster. And with that vintage fair coming up here in June, I am really getting into the mood to spray paint some furniture. So what I'll be working on today is this beautiful piece behind me. And you know, it doesn't look that bad as it is, but you guys know me, I usually paint everything. I love painted furniture, so that's what I'll be doing today. So what I plan on doing with this piece is first of all, giving it a good cleaning, and then I'll apply that chalk paint using my sprayer. And after that's dry, I'll probably use a wet rag and go along the edges and distress the piece. That is the nice thing about chalk paint. You're actually able to do that with just a rag versus sandpaper. After that, I'll probably end up giving it a coat of wax and possibly lining the drawers with like a contact paper. So join me as I work on this and we'll see how it goes. So I've never had this happen before, but for some reason these drawers will not come out. So I guess I will need to paint them uh, like this. So the paint I'll be using today is the Kills Chalk Paint and the color is Toasted Poppy Seed. And of course I will need to add some water to this paint to run it through my sprayer.
So when you're distressing furniture like this with a wet rag, especially dark furniture, don't panic about the kind of whitish residue that it will leave along the edges, as you can see. That all will come out once you, you know, apply the wax. Uh, but just to make sure, I didn't get this on film, but before I applied the wax, I took a clean wet rag and just kind of went over the whole piece, just kind of tried to wipe that off, blend it in, and after that was done, I couldn't even really see it anymore, and then especially after the wax was applied, it disappeared. This was the first time I applied wax to a large piece of furniture like this that was painted a dark color. I've done it on light colors already and never had any problems, but I gotta say I did have some issues with uh, getting this to blend in nicely and smoothly. Um, I just wonder, do any of you have any tips on this? Um, should I invest in one of those wax brushes? I thought maybe that would help. It almost seemed like I had too much wax on my cloth and then it just kind of soaked right in you know, the spot where I first applied it and then I had a hard time kind of spreading it out. Um, it did end up, you know, not being too bad, but I, yeah, would really appreciate any tips if any of you guys have ever worked with this. Uh, what did I do wrong? Could I have made it simpler somehow? I decided to use the same hardware that was on the piece when I got it since it wasn't, you know, too bad looking. If you like the clock that is hanging above this piece and want to check it out, I will link it below. It is from Amazon. I have many more pieces of furniture that I will be working on here in the coming weeks as I prepare for a vintage fair that is here in our area. I've talked about it before. Um, it will be June 28th and 29th here in Holmes County, Ohio, near Walnut Creek. And I will link their Facebook page below in case any of you want to check it out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of the support here with my channel. I couldn't do this without you guys. So thanks for stopping by. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.